So anytime Elon Musk gives an update on a new product that he's working on, people everywhere listen and they watch. This especially applies to the new Tesla Model 2. The Tesla Model 2 is the upcoming electric car from Tesla Motors, originally announced on the battery day of 2020, along with a remarkable price of $25,000. It's basically what would happen if you combined a BMW 3 Series, a Toyota Prius, and a modern cell phone. It features a revolutionary autopilot technology and amazing safety features that are unavailable in any other vehicle on the market today. The Model 2 will also stand as the main rival for the Volkswagen ID3 and the Opel Astra E. Regardless of all this buzz generated by the Tesla Model 2, after its announcement there's been few to none things said about the upcoming $25,000 vehicle. Everything we know about it was announced to us on Elon Musk on Battery Day. So that was one day. <laughs> this was a conference between Elon Musk and members and workers from the Tesla company that was streamed to several parts of the world. The user from Twitter, Sawyer Merritt, transcribed the conference to text and posted it to Twitter in September of this year. So what was said in that leaked conference? What were the new innovations that the Model 2 was going to bring with itself? Hey, that's what we're here to find out. So let me show you. The Tesla Model 2, known as the Model C, isn't a rumor anymore. It's a 100% electric vehicle with a price of just $25,000 that Tesla's planning to make. In the announcement of the Tesla Model 2 in the 2020 Battery Day, Elon Musk stated that not only would they get their hands on a Model 2 mass production in three years, but that it would be a fully autonomous vehicle. Most likely not even having a steering wheel or pedals in its cabin. Tesla is putting all of their bets on the Model 2 being a very futuristic automobile. This advanced autonomous driving technology is another one of the pillars on which Tesla will stand upon at the moment of making a difference towards their closer rivals. Tesla is still working on a top performance in the improvement of their assistive driving system package. It's all truly one of the most crucial and important technologies of the future of the car industry. I mean, cars that drive themselves, people are lazy, come on, this is perfect. But I digress. So disposing of an electric sedan with the greatest level of autonomous driving available in the market with such a price of $25,000 is more than an important factor to take into account. It almost seems like a contradiction for Elon and all of Tesla to try and produce a car with all the features and all the commodities included in an electric car only for the price of 25 grand. In fact, Tesla's vehicles have been exponentially raising their price over the passage of time due to, well, advancements in technology. And since it's true that Tesla and Elon Musk's companies in general tend to meet and surpass the boundaries and go beyond limits to deliver quality products, this time it seems like the objective is to go beyond the limit, but rather in the opposite direction and making the cheapest possible electric car, which would maintain the standards of quality that are characteristic from Tesla in order to expand the electric cars market even further and make them available for a wider range of people. So with that being said, without a doubt, Tesla's feat to be able to produce an electric car with such a reduced price is a result of an effort that they're putting in on reducing the price of batteries. The 4680 cells are giving as a result a more powerful battery with greater energy storage capacity, cheaper production price. The innovations in materials and the design and fabrication process have given place to what we would call an engineering masterpiece, which substantially reduces production costs. Tesla actually assures that they have achieved a 56% reduction per kilowatt hour in the fabrication cost. A more accessible entry-level vehicle, and cheaper than the Model 3, is almost a must for the brand if they want to take a step from being like a premium manufacturer to being able to compete in the market against the Volkswagen ID3 along with the veteran Nissan LEAF, or with some of the vehicles that Stellantis, Renault, Kia, and Hyundai are offering. As we know, the Tesla Model 2 will be designed, developed, and manufactured in China, from the blueprints to actually testing the car. And from there, it'll be sold all over the world. Because of this, the California-based manufacturer has tried to gather personnel to work in China to kickstart that project. So regarding launch dates for the Tesla Model 2, it's been considered the possibility of its coming out in 2022, or 2023, or even 2025. The reason for that difference between possible launch dates is not due to a lack of preparation or development, 
but rather just inconveniences related to the worldwide microchip shortages that rocket boost in 2020 and 2021. You've also got to take into account all the logistics surrounding the fabrication of the 4680 batteries, the ones which will be used in the Model 2 or the Model C if you want, because they're the cheaper ones. It's also been spoken that possible presentation events may happen before the launch of the vehicle itself, where they finally unveil what the Model 2 was actually going to look like and what the final name will really be. What we know about the microchip supply chain shortage that is that it's causing quite a bit of struggle in the car industry and a couple of others and pretty much all the other industries in the world related to technology, which is basically none, right? Nobody uses technology nowadays. So we can rest assured that Tesla will do anything that they can to make the Model 2 a reality. As long as there's no longer a major crisis or anything like that in the way, they'll keep progressing on the path to revolutionizing the electric car industry and the very concept of the electric car itself. Given all the data we have now and all the information out there that is yet to be revealed, it's utterly important that the Tesla Model 2 lands on the market so we can further standardize electric vehicles not just in one place but throughout the world. And that's going to do me for today, guys. I will catch you guys later.